you're watching my favorite YouTube channel. I got one of my other favorite YouTube channels. They're the back of the bus sitting right over there in Columbus, Ohio. Whose stupid idea was, to, oh, we're going to call it back of the bus and everyone is going to know Columbus is, is the bus is for Columbus. Who, whose right. idea was that? You hear him hating on us, yes. though? Like that, the hate in your voice, and we can hear it. It's very prevalent. We, we can hear it. He won an award two years ago that he could talk crazy. I wasn't even going to bring that one up. The nominees. So you got Joe from Real Shift. You got uh, uh, Keyshawn from um, Low Key Cave. You got Chillmonger. You got uh, the two two dope list movie guys. I really like those guys. Then you got uh, the back of the bus uh, cast. You know, um, I really like those. I li I really like them too as well. I'm gonna have to say Chillmonger. It's got to be Chillmonger. I'm gonna go with Chillmonger. Since Chillmonger is the only one from this nominees that's currently here, I'll say it's him. Back of the bus says, nobody realizes we're in here. <laughs> it's because you're in the back of the fucking bus. I chose Chillmonger. And that's where that confidence comes from, that cockiness. And if you must know, it's 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 a at least a double entendre, because you're right, back of the bus, as in Columbus, but it's also a play on, you know, civil rights movement, Montgomery bus boycotts, back of the bus type Damn of thing. Cool kids sit on the back of the bus. You know, I would thought with all of your, you know, your cheers for black representation, that would be something historically that would be very prevalent in front of your mind. But, you know, it's triple entendre. Don't even ask us how. You see, much like Jonathan Majors, you're playing the race card, which is exactly the point <laughs> of this video. See, that's why I'm a better YouTuber than you guys. No, oh, boy. Let's talk about Jonathan Majors. <laughs> I promise everyone we like each other. Um, yeah, so I just thought it'd be fun because we are pro Jonathan Major, or at least we're pro truth, and we believe Jonathan to be innocent. What What if we just like you know took the opposite side of the fence for some fun? What if you guys and and what if I offered counter arguments? Josh okay. likes the idea, Marcus likes the idea, and so oh. does Chill. One of the things that the prosecution needs to win this case is everyone on their side. Now, this is a very racial problem, right? Her last name is pretty ethnic. It's not going to roll over well in front of the New York people. The New York people who were there, they're like, what, the 9-11 people are over here trying to, trying to cause a muck? <laughs> so if you're, the, um, if you're the district attorney and you're trying to prosecute, you call her by her first name, which is more pleasant and it's more acceptable. Grace. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's going to be a lot, of, a lot of grace for sure. Uh, Stephanie. Is Stephanie. Not a lot of Stephanie. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. My, my, my bad. <laughs> you guys got anything for for me what i would do is try to muddy the waters and you could go about that one or two ways and it seems like they're going to try and go about it in both in my estimation but what i what i from what i'm seeing is try to introduce as much character stuff and history stuff to make you believe our summation of the facts, mm -hmm. right? Introduce enough history and enough. They're talking about the past girlfriends being involved with the uh, investigation or what have you. Leave, leave enough mud on this situation for there to be some doubt, right? And that, and that's where you kind of would would earn your salt as a prosecutor and driving your argument home. But you have to kind of dirty it up right now because what we are what we are currently placed with is. We know something happened in the back of the cab. We know that the defense's side is saying that the eyewitnesses, not just the driver, but numerous people that she encountered after the fact will attest that she was e A, not injured, and, and B, in the case of the, the driver, that she was actually the perpetrator, the, per ugh, the perpetrator mm -hmm. of the violence. So... If that's what you are faced with, assuming that that's 100% correct and that, you know, Priya Chaudhary is just not out here lobbing up bullshit that she doesn't think she'll ever have to answer for, then you're kind of starting from a, a, a disadvantage if you're the prosecution. Your victim was literally just marched out of a, 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 a Chinatown police station last week uh, for the same type of charges that you're levying against. Jonathan Majors, Mr. Yep. Media Assault. Mm -hmm. Now they got out ahead of it. They 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 told us that they weren't going to prosecute it, so that you know Variety is able to say that the, the reports of her being arrested were false, which in itself is false. She was arrested. Um, but if I were them, 
I would make things as as unclear in terms of who you can convince the jury that Jonathan Majors is as a person and not focus so much on the actual comings and goings of March 23rd or whenever this happened. Because if they stick to that, if we are only talking about what happened in March, the case is not strong. It's just not. We mm -hmm. can tell that before they even get it started. If it was, it wouldn't have taken this long. If they had an ab ab abundance of empirical facts at their disposal, there would be no need to delay, you know, to to have Grace, or excuse me, Stephanie McMahon come back. There would be no need to uh, uh, delete the, uh, or excuse me, deactivate the I card that was put out for her so that she could be brought in for questioning. There'd be no reason to delay to try to get some information on a, a, a past case that happened in September of last year in another country. <sighs> because what relevance could that possibly have to the incident that happened in March of 2023 if you were not trying to establish that this is a pattern of behavior? Exactly. That's their, their best bet is that this just keeps happening it happened before. It very likely happened again in March. And and, and we're going to bring in countless examples of people telling you that it very well could have happened. But it hasn't been proven at all that there are actually witnesses. We have there are alleged right. abuse victims cooperating with the D.A. Sure. We're left to fill in the blanks. Right. So if right. I'm prosecuting Jonathan Majors, yeah, I would need those alleged abuse victims to be admissible to, you know, to do my work. I also need. I need the media to do my work for me and continue doing my work. I need for this jury not to be, what's the word, sequestered? Is that the word for, for it? If when, they, when they're sequestered, that means that they can't leave. Oh, well, opposite then. While they're on trial, they have to stay in like hotels and stuff like that. Which stay away from be the, the case media. for a high-profile case like yeah. this. Mm -hmm. oh. Give me an example of a time that happened, though, because how hard is this to get? Uh, oh, misdemeanor yet. assault charge. That's what's really getting me. It's like we're not even talking about a felony right now. We, we're talking about misdemeanor charges. The felony was already dropped. Yeah. So the fact that like we we're hanging on to this so hard, it, it, it like. Bro, that was wild, sus. The way, what are we doing so hard? <laughs> we're, we're, we're hanging on to what? <laughs> yeah, that was so wild. Hey, double fist was a little nuts. <laughs> double fist was a little nuts. Josh is feeling uncomfortable over there on the side. <laughs> little nuts is crazy. Uh, I mean, the fact that you keep saying little nuts is a little crazy. But back to 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 Stephanie and, and Jonathan. Okay. They they on the the facts of the incident on March. I don't. From what I see, I'm not a lawyer, but they don't seem strong. They, there's too much in between the cab. And when the investigation officially started, that leads too much to be questioned. She took his credit card. She went clubbing. She bought drinks. She went home. She's never seen stumbling, wincing, grabbing for her hand, grabbing for her ear. Even though there's video evidence of it. You know, asking for assistance. Hey, let me get a napkin. I'm bleeding. Hey, mm -hmm. come to the bathroom with me. That kind of stuff, right? Like, because I understand that the clips that we saw could have been primmed up by the defense and cut at certain spots to make it look a certain way. And I think that's what they tried to assert in the Variety article or or not in the Variety article. No, again, the the, court. again, they let, allow you to fill in the blanks. When the Variety article said something like there was a misrepresentation of evidence. Yes. Yeah. yeah. They, they, they wanted you guys or the reader of that to be like, oh, so they lied. OK. Well, the evidence is fake. Here's my thing, though. They've had no problem leaking the stuff about the 40 people they talked to for the Rolling Stone article. They had no problem leaking that they have potential people cooperating with the investigation, right? They have no problem letting it leak that they're trying to get information on some incident that happened in London last year, right? right. There's no problem with that information coming out. So if they had longer versions of these tapes of these security footages. I think they would have come out. And then on, on top of that, right, Priya Chaudhry is, is the, she's levying the accusation that all of this stuff was hidden in the two terabytes of evidence they tried to submit days before they were supposed to go to trial months ago. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so, so it's not so cut and dry as what the bigger outlets are trying to make it out to be. But in terms of the facts of what happened to her in the back of that cab, what is being alleged? I got hit. 
I got my finger fractured and I got a, 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 a bump put on my head, right? All in the back of that cab. This really should be done when we watch the security footage in the back of the cab. It should be done. You know, I think, we should I think I think that what you're gonna do though is gonna use the security footage and as Jonathan uh puts his hands on her like uh like this, that's where you can say, Oh yeah, see he twists her, and that's why they're like, Oh, it's causing substantial pain. You gotta yeah. emphasize that. Thankfully, yeah. because of racism, as a prosecution, you can the the you know the people what are listening will ascribe ultra violence with that dark skin called melanin that he's twisting her or whether he puts her and returns her back inside of the car which is an escalate and those are pretty luxurious they're going to make it seem like oh this woman was concussed and there's a contusion behind her right ear it was like a pre laceration that's what they've got to do they've got to emphasize that they've got to tell the uh, the um, audience rather the jury this man is an actor you're going to call him a villain uh, you're going to cuz he's been a villain in both creed and he played he played villain in Marvel, you know, and you're going to make it seem like this comes natural to him. You're going to emphasize that aspect of him. Or you're, they're going to tell you how when he when the cops, when he called the 911, that was just his latest performance. He said that it was an attempted suicide or yada, yada, yada. They got to work on how he's an actor. So you don't know he's a liar. He's a professional liar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I, and I think that's the second part of it, right, is that. You have to tell people that their eyes aren't seeing what they're seeing and you have to get them on your side about how you are interpreting what you're seeing. Right. No, that's not him trying to get her out of the street and put her back in the car. He's trying to rid himself of her. He's trying to throw her back into the car violently. And that's what caused the laceration to the ear, because what they don't have is a clear eye shot of her bleeding behind her ear. They want you to stay. They want you to see in the back of that that car when they're wrestling over the phone. See how violently he is trying to keep her back, trying to just to just to get his phone back, a piece of property. Like you yeah. see how he devalues her for the phone, and it, because what they do not have is a clear eye shot of him twisting, pulling, or breaking her finger. All of this stuff is really trampled over when we go all the way down to the timeline to the text messages he sends. At 8 a.m. the next morning, have to get she, scrappy. See how she got the injuries. If they get anywhere near these facts of this case, it gets very, very weak. It gets very weak. And the only way I feel like they can keep from getting from drifting back into the empirical is if they keep talking about the circumstantial. Well, you know, he did have a girlfriend that said that he was violent before. Well, you know, there was a police report filed where Grace Shabari had to receive. Damn, I keep doing it. <laughs> where she had to get, receive medical attention, right? To keep calling in what you are seeing versus what you think you know about a person. And the cold hard facts of this is, in all honesty, Jonathan Majors could be an absolute terror on society, could have had a negative physical uh, experience with every woman he's ever been with. It's but possible. if he didn't do it to Stephanie McMahon, then he shouldn't be going, he shouldn't be a convicted of this. Because that's that's the point of trying things out in the court of law. You shouldn't be convicted off of your history. You should be convicted off of what happened, what was being accused. The things that you guys are saying is is absolutely fair uh, and plausible uh, tactics that could be used against Jonathan Majors. Uh, the the biggest thing that sticks out in my mind is whether or not there's some sort of jury selection. Because then, if you can control who's in said selection and make it a little bit more diverse, I guess, in Jonathan Major's favor, or if you can make it, uh, I don't want to say specifically one gender, but if, if there's one gender that would probably believe uh, Stephanie oh, McMahon's no, they, side of the story. They, they got to go male as hard as they can, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Jury selection-wise, they've got to get as many men on there as mm -hmm. they possibly can. Yeah, and, and hopefully men of color. Um, yes. But also not women of color, because I was told from you guys know the YouTuber She Dreads Me, Tina. I was told from her that she would be in that jury like, mm hmm. You see, we told you not to date those white women like that yeah. would be. I'm like, not I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like black woman in this instance is safer than black men. OK. And, and here's why. 
Because in the same way you're saying that uh, uh, the the black woman would sit up there saying, mm-hmm, see, we told you not to go over there and do that. We, you, you know better, da 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 I feel like you get, well, I guess it depends on age, too, as well. Yeah. But maybe you could run the risk of them seeing Jonathan kind of as a sellout. You know, he got rich, he made all his money, started messing with a white woman, got in trouble. Mm-hmm. Why should I save you? And because we know those people good. exist, to you know. And, and 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 in that scenario, who's like who's more likely to save me? You know, my peer, my brother who really hating on me <laughs> for real, or the the mother like figure who knew better all along and wants to save me just for the sake of being able to say that she saved me. Yeah, you know, if you kind of really break down the psychology of people, who's more likely to bail you out in that situation? Who's more likely to see you reap the percussions of your consequence of your actions of your your choices in that situation? I don't I don't know. No, no. I, it's a toss up, really. The good thing about jury selection is, from everything that I've ever seen, is that they actually get to interview the person and really get ask the some questions. Yep. Yeah. Oh. So you're just going to have to find the best lineup that you can. Yeah, yeah. And it's not going to be perfect either way because they also are able to. Have people questioned yeah. and taken off if they want it's to. It's like so a one and one. It's, it's going to have a, a a nice even balance there either way, to a certain degree. The, the, you got to make sure what you choose is ironclad, like conservative like, white male who owns a small business. What is that? I said a conservative white man who owns his own small business. That guy's going to look at oh, another one of those Me Too hoaxes, huh? Another Amber Heard type thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But see, on the prosecution side, they're going to want to get that same demographic, but a guy with daughters. Yeah. But a, but a guy with with two or three daughters, right? Who's looking at this like, man, I wish I wish he would. I wish a guy would come and mess with my daughter like that. I, I, he wouldn't even have made it to the courtroom. They're going to try and find a guy like that too. So it's uh, it's just like balancing a monster act. like that. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. For sure. Okay, two things. You mentioned the age. Age like the older the better or the younger the better for your jury. If you're trying to get Jonathan, how I young? Better steer clear of social media ideals. I feel like okay, yeah, the older matters. the better. The older the better. I I wanted to give my millennials and Gen Zers a chance on this, but it, but it's so easy to sweep them up into the political nature of what's going on in this situation as opposed to just the facts of the case, right? Like. You see that all the time in social media. People are more worried about the salacious, they're more worried about, you know, the fake story that came out than they are about the actual, re, uh, the real retraction that comes out a few days later. So they're, they're not so much interested in, in in seeing truth over feeling good. Yeah. And that would be my worry for Jonathan Majors if they're able to convince him that you are somehow releasing a bad person on the, on the world even if he didn't somehow do this, but you'd be doing right by getting this bad guy off the streets kind of thing. That's what I would worry me with a younger demographic, white or black. Honestly. And even if you do sequester this jury, the younger people are going to have said preconceived notions of what they've already, already heard about the case. Already seen. Whereas yep. older people may not know. They're not the going to be as plugged into the tonight. facts. And when they're able to lay it out as facts and simply just facts, because the thing Another disadvantage I feel like the prosecution is that is that the things that they are trying to introduce are not related. And so they, they have to go to great lengths to explain why they are relevant to this case. Jonathan Major's t- side doesn't have to do that. But that's this a bad look, though. Party. See, Jonathan Major's side is going to be in the Jonathan Major's going to be in the courtroom always saying objection, objection because of that, because of all of the, you know, the, kind of the abstract or the, the reaches that the prosecution is going to make. Going. I feel it's like you're operating look. from a disadvantage. Once you get through all of the, the trade articles and all of the, the mess, if you just look at like what's on the table right now, what each side has said officially, one, one side is working on reputation in history. The other side is staying completely within the now. What happened in March? Yeah. What happened on that night? It's just to me, it feels like you are operating from a much stronger position if you have the empirical facts on your side versus what people will say about you behind your back anonymously, anonymously the Rolling Stone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Josh mentioned something about asking questions. Do you have an example of what are acceptable questions? You mean for the jury? Yeah. 
Um, you kind of really got to go into their personal history of thought as it pertains to uh, race, gender, domestic violence, how they feel about all these certain things. Uh, if they have any daughters, like you mentioned before, you can ask any, anything. Like you kind have of experienced really, domestic violence themselves. I mean, you got to really go into a personal history of that person to see if there's any kind of biases. Have you ever perpetuated uh, domestic violence yourself? That's not a very impartial, you know, witness. If you've ever been involved in that, whether you were a bystander, you were the perpetrator or the victim, you're not very impartial. And how'd you feel way. in those situations? You know? Okay, so then jury selection really is a great way to get Jonathan Majors. If you can kind of take care of that early, then... If Rhea Chaudhry can, can gather up a spectacular lineup, this should be a slam dunk for her, I would think. I don't think it's a slam dunk either way. I don't think it's a slam dunk either way, because if it was a slam dunk, we wouldn't be going to trial. That's fair. Oh, don't under, don't underestimate people of color. Listen, they're gonna per- yeah, yeah, act yeah. like this has been valid from the jump, even though that strangulation charge, which was the headlines all week, that's yeah. been dropped. Yeah, they, I mean, and they've got to kind of defend their side. They have to defend their case. Um, they're here, you know. There's no more running away from this. We're not dismissing it. We're not pleading out. We're going to take it to trial. So they have to hit it with a level of veracity that validates all of these resources that they spent on it. They just uh, smoking gun is is really the only way I see the the momentum of what is happening in this case flipping because they just don't have the facts on their side and they they've shown that they're not really above leaking things or having information come out from their camp yeah. directly directly sourced to to platforms like Variety. So it, it's not a thing of them you know being tightly sealed and, and hiding something. If they had a smoking gun, I think they'd all be too happy to put it out. I, I, I think they're just convinced that they could win the court of public opinion because of the demographics of the people involved, because of the 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 the, the social tenor, right? And they think that they could yeah. really use that to propel the case is what I I'll, see. Yeah. I'll, I'll put it up on screen one more time. As you can see on screen here, the reason we're so certain he didn't actually fracture her finger or break her ear is literally this footage eight minutes afterwards she is perfectly fine she's the whole video if you want to watch it read the insider article she doesn't complain about jonathan putting hands on her or nothing the whole time too it's it's a certainty that he didn't actually lacerate her uh, finger broke her ear marcus maybe maybe the laceration was uh you know deep enough to be referenced as a laceration but not deep enough to cause blood Oh, which uh, okay? How? I I don't know. Uh, uh, if you look up the definition of a, a laceration, it's open flesh. I don't know whose flesh opens without it bleeding. How? No <laughs> need to ask. He's a ear lacerator. <laughs> ear lacerator. Coast to coast, London to Manhattan. You guys dance. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, I think we're done here. Unless anyone has anything more to add, we went longer than we thought we would. This, um, this is pretty tricky. This is gonna take a while. I- I'm certain that there's no evidence, just like uh, Marcus was saying earlier, that they can present to prove that she was actually hit by him and things went sour in the car. But we gotta let the court play out. And unfortunately, if during the trial something gets out about how Jonathan Majors drinks or jonathan major has a drug issue or anything to make him look bad paul bettany comes to mind with the johnny depp stuff it's yeah. it's, it's going to be cause some long-term yeah, damage think about the people's lives that were ruined because of that trial look up everybody who got dragged into that elon mush james franco uh paul bettany what is the chick kate moss got dragged into that <laughs> right it's, it's like who wants to be involved in that who would want to sign up to be in the middle of somebody's domestic squabble? And so if he has other people that are tied to these stories, or even if it's just him, like, why should I have to have the improprieties or maybe not even not just the ugly moments of my past relationships brought into court to justify something that we have plenty of physical evidence to, to, to see about? Like, mm-hmm. you don't need to guess. There's a video. We have an eyewitness. Like, how have we gotten all the way to his ex-girlfriends is really maddening to me 
because you have someone that drove the car who's driving the vehicle while this was happening, not to mention a video from the vehicle. So uh, uh, how we've gotten all the way, the prosecution has access to that too. Mm -hmm. How we've gotten from that point, we know that Jonathan Major struck her, broke her finger, all of that. But we need, on top of that, we need to talk to his ex-girlfriends from years ago. We need to see what happened to him in, in London with, with old girl back in September. Which has no what do you need case. that for if, if what happened, you said happened, happened on the video that's in your possession? Yeah. And that's why it's a whole bunch of malarkey. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up. You need to subscribe to the back of the bus. Their link is right up there, right above them. Subscribe to me if you're not already subscribed. And we're out.